Okay, uh, what we're going to go over right now is, you know, through the manual here, we've mentioned a couple times uh, about this attachment, you know, and this, this attachment is, um, for all intents and purposes, uh, besides the close, probably one of the most important things in the whole entire method. Uh, this is kind of why I call it keyword confidential. Um, what this does is it kind of provides some proof to your client that you, that you do have something that they're looking for or your potential client at this point, I guess. And it kind of piques our interest up because we're only going to give them half of the data. Um, the half of the data that we're going to give them and, or mail them or email them, however you choose to contact them, uh, or both if you chose to do it that way, is the active searches uh, per month. We're not actually going to give them the keywords to rank for. So we're going to give them the numbers over here, but we're not going to give them the keywords. Um, we'll have to make one We'll actually have to make two files like this. Uh, the one will be a main working file that we have that has all the data. The other one will be um, kind of a dummy list for the clients, in which case over here, keywords to rank for. Um, as an example here, I use Keyword Elite to pull this list. Um, I think it just did it uh, under the main keyword of Delaware Real Estate, uh, using the, it scraped the Google suggestions and, and that type of stuff. So. I could get a lot more than this because I go in and run another search on real estate in Delaware or Dover, Delaware real estate or Smyrna, Del Delaware houses for sale and probably get a lot more data. But for just for kind of the demonstration demonstration purposes here, now we're going to go with what we got here. So just going to take this, copy. Paste it in. Go down the um, actually wonder if that'll work. Yup. Just kinda go right down the uh, gonna paste all those in there. And this is gonna be for our master file. Um, now the, the kind of pain here is in actually putting in uh, the numbers of searches, but it pretty much has to be done. So you just want to, uh, you know, bring this up, maybe minimize it a little bit, keep it out of the way, so you can actually see, you know, what's behind there. So Lewis Delaware Real Estate, one thousand two hundred ninety Delaware Real Estate. 5,400 Those Delaware real estate was already done put that in by accident twice so I'm just gonna leave it there for now Delaware real estate commission 720 Newark, Delaware real estate, 570. Now you're going to go down, you know, the whole list here and do that. It, you know, it may take you a half an hour to do, but once you do it for the one set of clients, you really won't have to do it again unless you personally decide that you want to expand out to some different keywords. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to save this. Just save it as, you know, whatever you want. Um, Real estate, keywords, okay, it's saved. Um, so you have a good working copy that you can add to or edit from. Now over here, for the one that you're going to send to the client, you're actually going to change the wording here to Keyword hidden. You're going to kind of do that all the way down the list here.
See, one of you guys is is definitely probably better than I am with uh you know, so it won't take you quite as long to to do this as I do. But once you get it set up, um, you know, with all the keyword hidden and all that stuff, you want to save another copy. Going to save another one as hidden so that we have, you know, our, our exact copy and then with hidden so in case we have to, to update it again. Okay, so now that's saved. And then after it's saved, what we want to do is actually just make this thing a PDF, okay? Just leave it at that. And then let me grab that. Hold on one second. Okay, and this is basically what you're going to come up with, except for yours is obviously going to be, you know, more accurately filled out and completely filled out. But, you know, all the way down this side here is going to be keyword hidden, all the way straight to the bottom. And then over here are going to be your number of uh, number of active searches for the keyword. Um, and then when the client gets it, they're going to get your email, um, you know, which, which we went over there. But then they're going to get this side over here, which has something hidden from them, and then something over here which indicates that you know somebody's actually looking for them uh, in the amount of 1290, 5400, 720, 570, you know, all the way down to um, not sufficient data. Um, you know, so your email is going to convey the fact that you have something that is of value to them, something that could potentially give them more clients and put more money in their pocket. And then this PDF here that you're going to attach to either attach it to the email or fold it up and put it in the envelope if, if you choose to use direct mail. Um, they're going to receive it, and a lot of them are really curious. A lot of them call just to find out exactly what it means. Um, and once they want to know something, once they want to know what it means, and you tell them what it means, especially in these types of businesses like with the real estate agents, the attorneys, and the plastic surgeons, where the cost for them to, in most cases, obtain a new client or do advertising is so great, um, they always want to know if there's something that you could do for them cheaper or better or more effectively to put more money in their pocket, especially the real estate agents right now because of the way that the economy is and uh, kind of the way that the mortgage market is. They want to talk to every single person that they possibly can. But regardless whether it's real estate agents, uh, specialty attorneys, or specialty surgeons, you're still going to do this list the exact same way and send it over to them. Make sure you send uh, you know, the original copy, uh, which has, you know, of course, all the keywords listed. You save the hidden copy, the one that has the keyword hidden in the spreadsheet, so you can uh, you know, add to or take away from them in the future. Um, and then the PDF copy. Once you do this, you usually have to do it once unless you want to add or take something away. And then you can send this out to agent after agent after agent after agent after agent. Uh, and what we do is we technically uh, focus our efforts in the four areas that surround me, uh, Delaware, Maryland, New Jersey, and Pennsylvania. Um, so a lot of these deals, I'd say probably 95% of the deals that we actually do are either closed over the phone uh, close via a Skype chat or in some cases where uh, the real estate agent is close to me you know venture out of the house and go see him or whatever just because I'm comfortable enough to do that at this point and because of the sales training that I've had um, but this sheet here the way that we do this with the hidden keywords or keyword hidden here is absolutely powerful just for the sake of wanting to know they call you to find out exactly what it is it's almost like they have to know um, so you know, make sure you do this, make sure you kind of follow, you know, exactly what we've done here so that you can get the same kind of effect and benefit that we do. And uh, if you have any questions on it, just make sure to let us know.